it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Cell division is the process of a living cell splitting to form two separate living cells. Cells can increase in number very rapidly. For example, bacteria can divide every 20 minutes under ideal conditions. In contrast to this, human cells can divide at a maximum rate of once every few hours. Cell division gives rise to one of the characteristics of life, which is cell continuity. So before we start, we'll take a look at the definition of cell continuity. This means that all cells develop from pre-existing cells. So existing cells divide and become new cells. Cell continuity is vital in all species to allow for growth and for life to continue. Now the nucleus of a cell is critical to the cell's ability to divide. The nucleus contains chromosomes, which have all of the necessary information for the production of a new cell. Chromosomes are tightly coiled threads of DNA and protein, which become visible in the nucleus of a cell at cell division. Chromosomes are a very efficient way of carrying genetic information. They keep a huge amount of information in a very tiny space, the nucleus. When a cell is not dividing, the chromosomes are in long, thin threads called chromatin. At cell division, the chromatin shortens to form a number of clearly distinguishable chromosomes. All species on Earth have their own specific number of chromosomes. For example, bacteria have just one chromosome, pea plants have 14, cats have 38, and human body cells have 46 chromosomes. Chromosomes contain genes. Genes are the units of inheritance in living organisms, controlling the characteristic features of that organism. In humans, for example, genes control features such as height, eye colour, hair colour, gender, and many thousands more. In plants, genes control petal colour, chlorophyll production, leaf shape, and many, many more. This brings us on to two more definitions. A haploid cell has one set of chromosomes. The word haploid is often represented by small n. In humans, sperm cells and egg cells are haploid cells and each contains 23 chromosomes. We write this as n equals 23. A diploid cell has two sets of chromosomes. The word diploid is often represented by 2n. This means that the chromosomes are in pairs in a diploid cell. So in human body or somatic cells, there are 46 chromosomes, and we write this as 2n equals 46. Now, a karyotype is simply a picture of a complete set of a person's chromosomes. If you notice in this karyotype here, all of the chromosomes are arranged in pairs. These pairs of matching chromosomes are called homologous chromosomes. In diploid cells, one chromosome from the homologous pair comes from the mother and the other comes from the father. If you look carefully at the last two chromosomes marked X and Y, they're different to the others. These non-homologous chromosomes or heterosomes determine the sex of the individual. Because this karyotype contains X, Y, the individual that this came from is male. If it contained two Xs, it would be from a female. So that was just a short video on the definition and explanation of the terms cell continuity, chromosomes, haploid, diploid and karyotype.